All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Uh, go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com or follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. Today I'm back in Tableau and I'm looking at market basket analysis again. So I already have an existing video on market basket analysis, which you should check out uh, on my YouTube channel or on my blog. Uh, but this is a different uh, market basket analysis, well, at least a different visualization. And I have to give an acknowledgement to an old coworker of mine named Chandra Sinha, who's written a book called Tableau Unlimited. You can check that out on Amazon.com, but this post is inspired by the steps that he has listed in that book. Yeah, you know, a little bit of tweaking, but for the most part, same steps. So got to give an acknowledgement to him. So let's get right into this. Um, market basket analysis, three main concepts to this visualization. We're going to enable a user selection based upon a parameter, right? I'm going to select a subcategory that I want to analyze, and I'm using Tableau Superstore data. I want to identify all orders that contain the user selection, and then I want to exclude some items from the visualization, again, based upon the user selection, and it'll all make sense as we progress further uh, in the viz. So let's get started here. I want to right click on subcategory and we're going to create a parameter and list is fine. Let's call this um, user selection. User selection. I'm going to say OK and I want to show parameter control and then I like the uh, single value list, right? OK, great. Now, step two, I want to find the subset of orders that contain the user selection. So we're going to create a calculated field called matches selection. Create a calculated field. And we're going to identify all orders that contain uh, the user selection. So we'll say here, does it match selection if the subcategory is equal to the what the user has selected, the user selection. Then tag, uh, tag that row as one, else zero, end. Pretty straightforward. Say OK. All right, now I need to build a set based off of my matches selection measure. So in order to, to do that, I'm going to right click on order ID. I'm going to create a set and we're going to call it user selection orders. User selection orders. We're going to go to condition by field. Again, based off of the, um, the measure that I just created, the calculated measure that I just created, I want my matches selection to be greater than or equal to one. All right. We're going to say OK. Perfect. Now, I want to create a calculated field uh, named additional order items. And so, again, all of this will make more sense uh, as we progress. But for now, again, we're going to call this additional order items. And the formula for that, if subcategory not equal to user selection, then return the subcategory else in a end calculations valid we're going to say okay all right looking good so now we have our components in play let's drag additional order items right we're not dragging subcategory we're dragging additional order items to rows right additional order items has our na in there and you'll see why that's important later and we're going to drag order item i'm sorry order id to columns add all the members and i want to change this to a count distinct I want to count a distinct count of orders that correspond to my user selection. So I can sort this, right? And then I'm going to hold down uh, my distinct count here. And let's put that on the label, right? And then if you go in here and select allow labels to overlap, right? Some, some of the, see if I unselect that, I don't have all the marks. Some of the labels uh, come back in when I select that. So we're going to do that. I'm going to go here, make this uh, fit the entire view. And then on my filters, right, I want to drag user selection orders. 
So let's find user selection orders. This is the set of order IDs that I want to filter on. This is the set of order IDs that correspond to my selection. So you'll see here, um, based upon my user selection of accessories, binder shows up 161 times. Paper is associated on 153 orders. Phones, 116. So you'll say, well, what is NA? So NA is just uh, accessories. And I don't want to show accessories again. So that's why I have this NA here. By, by fact of selecting accessories, I know accessories are on the order. So I can hide all of these. Uh, I can exclude NA from my analysis. And so now when I go to appliances, right, there's no NAs here. I can see all of the um, additional items that are on my order based upon my user selection. Oh, and I'm just trying to get in here to extend this, right? So that's how that works. And so I can take something like, uh, you know, again, I can take profit. I can throw that on color to see. Oh, that's uh, that's an interesting visual right there. But it allows me to see what's profitable and what's not. This the orange. Uh, it looks like the orange is not profitable, right? Based upon our scale and our blues are profitable. Drag that off. I could take a. Uh, uh, where's uh, profit ratio, right? And take profit ratio and throw that on color. Uh, get the same effect here. Um, all my oranges are not profitable. So you can play around with this, you know, put on the right measures, uh, any measures that you want there. So let me, let me uh, make this a little more clearer here. Um, I'm going to go to this. Uh, I have this detail sheet set up with uh, the with the uh, items that we've created, the calculated fields that we've created. And so how you would look at this is for each, you know, for my user selection of accessories, for each subcategory, we created a matches selection, right? So I selected accessories. So yes, that matches accessories here. That's my subcategory, matches my user selection. So you get a one here. And then we created a set based upon the matches selection. So this order ID uh, will be in play for analysis when I select accessories because accessories, the subcategory is here, right? So that's, that's how you would read that, even if I were to move down here. Accessories right matches my user selection so you get a one and matches selection which means it's in the set for analysis when I select accessories obviously that's going to change if I select uh, appliances right I have appliances here uh, I have a one therefore the order is in play so so what is this additional order items why is this in a so again going back here um, let's go back to our analysis and if I were to bring in uh, subcategory let me go down here and add subcategory in addition to additional order items. And let me pull off uh, this filter here. Again, as you can see, I have NA here in additional order items, but that corresponds to accessories, right? Because I've selected accessories. And so if I didn't have additional order items here and I didn't want to see this 718 because I know accessories are going to be on, on orders that I select accessories for, if I were to hide this, right, um, I, if, if I were to exclude that, sorry, I've gotten rid of accessories. That's great for this view. But when I go to appliance or when I go to binders, I know there's a relationship between accessories and binders. But since I've hidden it, I don't get to see it. So that's why I can't. Um, just one off hide these things so let's go back uh, I've got accessories here what I can do again I can hide my NA's though I can exclude this right NA is going to be on every user selection so now I've hidden NA's now when I go here or when I go to binders I have my accessories right but I don't have my NA's so that's why we had to create that uh, that additional uh, we don't use a subcategory. We create additional order items here. And so just really quick, going back to additional order items, if the subcategory is not equal to the user selection, then we use the subcategory otherwise NA. So 
There you go. That is our market basket analysis in uh, in different steps here. I have a video, like I said, that shows you the market basket analysis in this format that you can check out on my channel or on my blog. But uh, this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. As always, get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.